Hi everyone, welcome back to Psych2Go. Thank you for all of the love and support for our channel. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology accessible to everyone. Now, on to the video. If you're wondering what we mean by evil, we mean the real kind, not ironic. You know, the kind arising from actual or imputed bad character or conduct. In other words, morally reprehensible, as per Merriam-Webster. So, what makes a person evil? Well, evil happens when people don't feel empathy. They don't seem to have a conscience and feel no remorse for their wrongdoings. This is the kind of person you never want to cross paths with. So, watch out for these eight warning signs you're dealing with an evil person. One, it's never their fault. An evil person will never see themselves in a negative light. When something goes wrong, they never want to be held accountable for what happened. Instead, they'll try to shift the blame on everyone else and let them take the fall for it. They can never take responsibility for their actions because in their eyes, they can do no wrong. They're unwilling to receive criticism and instead play the victim to gain your sympathy and rope you into doing favors for them out of pity, a common manipulation tactic evil people use to take advantage of others. Two, they're remorseless. No matter how much you call them out on it, an evil person will never feel sorry for what they've done. They may apologize when they've upset you, but it's likely to be insincere or with an ulterior motive in mind. Because in reality, people like these don't feel bad for the pain they cause others. They have no empathy for what you're going through because they only care about themselves. If they didn't need anything from you, they probably wouldn't even give you another thought. They have negative attentions behind their actions and may be deliberately trying to hurt you. Three, they're manipulative. Something you should always look out for in an evil person is their lack of honesty and integrity. While they may seem warm and friendly at first, they're just using their charms to manipulate you into doing their bidding and giving into their demands. They lead you on with false promises they have no intention of keeping. When the time comes, they justify why they couldn't keep their promises with a slew of excuses meant to convince you that it's all for the better. They will take and take without ever giving back. Four, they're controlling. Evil people will always want to be in control, so they seek to dominate others and exert power over them. They're never considerate and never want to compromise. They want you to do exactly as they say without question, so they intimidate you into complying, whether it's through criticism, competition, sabotage, or humiliation. They'll do anything to stay on top and feel superior over those around them. Five, they're dishonest. Pathological lying is another easy way to spot the evil in a person. Do they have a bad habit of constantly lying to you? Do you find them denying things you already know to be true? A few white lies from time to time may be forgivable, but when you start to wonder if anything this certain person is saying is even true, then there may be something more sinister going on. An evil person has no moral qualms with lying to get ahead or getting what they want. Some of them even lie just for the fun of it. Six, they're vindictive. Sadly, there are really some people out there who enjoy the misfortunes of others and take pleasure in their suffering. An evil person wants to see you down on your luck so they can feel better about themselves. They prey on your insecurities and exploit your weaknesses because it would kill them to see you succeed or outdo them in any way. Whether it's through anger, resentment, sarcasm, criticism, or thinly veiled judgment, they like to take their problems out on others and project their negative feelings on you. Seven, they lead a double life. People who are malicious will never show their true identity to you or anyone else. It's an understatement to say that they lead a double life they lead hundreds of lives. They are a different person to everyone. Lying becomes their way of life to get what they want, even at the expense of others. In no end, no one truly knows who they are. And last, but not least, other people will warn you about them. When others caution you against a certain person or warn you to stay away from them, then that's definitely a red flag. Even though we may want to give them the benefit of the doubt, thinking that maybe it's just a misunderstanding, there's no denying the signs. Pay close attention to what other people have to say about that particular person, because chances are 
what happened to them will happen to you too, if you're not careful. Is there a particular person who just popped into your mind at the mention of these signs? How do you usually deal with them? And what do you plan to do next? Let us know in the comments below. If you find this video insightful, give us a thumbs up and share this with someone who might benefit from it too. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go for more interesting psychology videos. And as always, thanks for watching.